Hey there, Hair Collective. Welcome to my platform. Thank you for watching and supporting as always. So there was this uh, inheritance that was stolen by a group of people. There is mainly a female in here that was the lead of this group of people that came together to steal this inheritance. This could have been a house that was stolen from someone, um, even a financial payout. These people got together, came up with a plan, forged someone's signature on some paperwork and got this payout and uh, split this money amongst each other and they've spent a majority of this money right um someone in this group is holding on to some type of check um that is in regards to this inheritance i don't know if they're afraid to spend the money or not whatever it is someone has a check um there's a woman in here who was the the in engineer of this activity let's put it that way this is someone that started pretending to be something that she's not this is someone pretending to have some type of spiritual gift this woman has no type of spiritual abilities activated in her this is like the low downs of the low downs this is someone that is so low vibration on that even i don't even think satan himself wants to be associated with her this is someone that you know slept her way up the ladder this is someone that got married for money um, this is someone that will leave one husband to get with the next one, depending on how much money that next husband has. And this is the kind of person we're talking about. This is someone that has that some type of false idea of uh, assertiveness and confidence, but this is not what that is. This is someone that is just cheap internally, and I'm so sorry to put it that way, but this is how this person is. This is someone that will steal from people because she's extremely money focused, right? Um, someone in here is associated with some gang or something like that uh, this could be a masculine figure or this could be a herd that's associated with thugs um, and if she does not get her way she will contact these people to come and instill some type of fear in you or this woman has this group of people that she work with that she uses like to carry out her dirty work basically so everyone within this company just about everyone so like if you had a hundred people in a company 99 out of 100 of those people are working for her carrying out her dirty deeds they are like her ears out in the field they do everything she wants them to do they watch and keep an eye on what's going on and report it back to her literally every single person you could find like maybe one person out of this company that is not aware and nine out of ten times is someone that's probably new to the company that's not aware of how things work but most of the people in this company that have been there for let's say 5 10 15 20 35 years 40 years they all know how this woman is they're part of this scam this woman stole a house an inheritance from someone and has been pretending to be something that she is not this woman may have even changed someone's will this is like a business owner or older person passing away putting his will but then she goes in and changes it and forges a signature so that the inheritance can go to her and they can split the money amongst each other there is a pi in here that is maybe finding this information out really late regardless these people are going to be facing legal consequences for what they did so they were laughing when they were spending this money uh taking advantage of this person whoever this money or inheritance was intended for but these people are not going to be laughing very soon if you're the person this is in regards to this woman may want to come towards you and make some type of deal with you uh, but she's not going to tell you everything that she did in regards to this stealing this theft She's not going to tell you what part she played in it. She's just going to make it seem like it was everybody else that was going up against you. And this, no, she was the corporate. She had a heavy hand in what happened. Okay, so you, if she approaches you, she is the main character. She and a male character came together and came up with this plan. Um, so that is kind of the situation that's going on here. These people are watching you. They have their eyes on you. They could have, uh, like, if you live in like a, a community, they have people within their community watching you, keeping an eye on you. If you're on social media, they have people watching you, telling them what they're doing and reporting back to them. They themselves could even be watching you, okay? These people are extremely, li living in extreme fear of you finding out what they did, um, but the truth is coming out regardless. This is how it was intended to be because 
Spirit wanted this to go on for so long that it would get to a point where they sealed their own fit. So this means that there is no way to get out of this uh, scenario, this situation. Someone is not even someone. There are a few people in here that are going to jail. Okay. There are a few people in here that are going to jail. Someone is losing their job. Someone is getting a divorce. There's a lot of endings coming for these people. And they, I don't know if they didn't, it's like living in denial, basically. It's like you think you are above God. You can pretend to be something you're not. And no one's going to find out the truth, even though everyone around you knows exactly what happened. These people are walking around pretending like they're okay. Um, maybe assuming even that people don't know the truth about them, but people see you all for exactly who you are. Thieves, okay? Um, whoever you are that this inheritance was stolen from, these people are going to have to pay you back, okay? Every dime that they spent, they're going to have to pay you back. If a house was stolen from you, they're going to have to return their home to you because you were not aware of the things that were going on behind the scenes. You did not sign any documents. You didn't read any documents. Nothing was presented to you. It's like these people just came together and decided you didn't deserve what was given to you or what was being, uh, uh, yeah, what was being given to you. And they decided that they deserved it more than you did, right? It's like they were around this older gentleman for a longer time than you were. So they felt entitled to what he was giving you and this is why they felt that you didn't deserve it they may have thought that you had some type of mental illness going on and it, they would have pretended that they were looking out for you but they were not there is a, you have familiars in this situation that partook in this uh betrayal this manipulation you may have had an ex that partook in this you have probably like a mother and a sister, a brother. There's some family member, extended family members, friends that partook in this manipulation, right? To hide this asset so that it would not make it to you. It's like someone pretending like, oh yeah, we'll look out for her best interest. We don't think he's he or she is mentally stable enough to manage all of this wealth or asset, but it's not true. This is just greed at its best. This is greed, okay? Someone is watching you. Someone may want to come in and pick some, some type of fight with you to cause you some type of legal issues. They want you to have some type of legalities going on. So someone want to come in, pick a fight with you. You do something, you react, overreact, and then you end up being locked up for something, but it's not going to happen that way. The truth is coming out. You are going to be speaking your truth. You will have your day in court with these people. Someone is losing sleep over this situation because they know they're the the um their crimes have caught up to them someone thought they were going to get away with this devious plan this is someone that thought they were above the law because they're well connected this is someone that thought they, were, they could play god in someone else's life right but the truth is being spoken there's a pi in here that knows the truth this is someone that cares about their work so they are going to be doing what's right in the situation okay they stole from a queen of wands. Someone's, uh, not someone, a group of people came together and stole from a queen of wands. They took an inheritance from a queen of wands and it was given to a queen of pentacles that is extremely greedy. This is someone that loves the final things in life. Even if she does not deserve it, it does not belong to her. She feels that she deserves it anyway. Uh, someone pay a queen, another queen of wands in here to manipulate a situation. Okay, these are all people living in their negative state of being, people that are just refusing to heal and things like that. This was a collaboration. This is an institution doing this. These are people that invaded your privacy. They were, you know, reaching out to people in your past and present, trying to get them to join them, to paint this picture of you as someone that was imbalanced. Okay. This is why they were reaching out to people. So they felt like if they went to the court and had all of these statements from different people saying that you were mentally imbalanced, mentally unstable, unfit to, you know, speak on your own behalf, to manage your own wealth, then the court will believe them and, you know, sign over your wealth to them, right? So this is why they did this. But the truth is coming out. They're going to have to pay every cent back to you, okay? And if they do not, I will advise you to have their wages garnished confiscate properties assets and things like that until you get every dime back 
Do not negotiate with any of these people. There is no place where evil and good can happily coexist together. Okay, this was all for greed. The people, there, these people want the finer things in life. Okay, this was someone, this Queen of Pentacles, representing herself to be someone authentic, someone uh that's forward thinking, someone with a lot of uh, uh ideas to move a company forward and things like that. She's not. This woman brain cells stopped working when she was in her teenage years. And I don't even think they were working properly at the time either. Okay. Someone did something here to interfere with some type of twin flame connection as well. Um, for someone here, I'm hearing that maybe like a son in this group could have been interested in you, but this mother is a bigot and she didn't want her son with you. So I'm getting that for someone. Her son was interested in you. So this is like you are maybe a person of color, let's say, or in her son, it may be like Hispanic or white or something like that, but she does not feel like you're you're good enough for her son simply because of the fact of the color of your skin. Not because you are, you know, a, 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 a vicious or malicious or something like that, but it's simply because of the color of your skin. Um, so this is why she did this. There were a lot of things that were taken from you that you are not even aware of. And this is all being revealed to you if you are watching this message. These people are keeping an eye on you. They've invaded your privacy in so many ways that you probably are not even aware of. It's ridiculous. You're showing up here as an empress energy. So this lets me know that you are someone extremely nurturing, someone extremely kind, very thoughtful of other people. You're emotionally balanced. The fact that you're showing up as an empress in my reading lets me know that everything these people said in the courts about you are lies. Okay. They lied. Um, there's a queen of the king of wands in here um, that is in some type of marriage, some type of collaboration. He could have been part of this institution as well. Um, and he is seeing the truth about you. He knows that you are someone who is a uh, um, a truth teller, right? You're someone who is very unique, gifted, and things like that. This could be someone that is either like a business owner, a manager, someone in law. There's something going on. This is, this could be like the PI or something. For a lot of you, there's someone in here that's watching this situation play out. I don't think these people realize that they were all already being investigated, okay? The fact that you're showing up here as the star means that you are someone that intuitively know what's going on. Someone may want to come in to pay you to shut up. Not happening. I wouldn't do it. Keep speaking your truth if you are. If you feel the need to reach out to someone, if you even feel an inkling that something was stolen from you and you know who to reach out to, reach out to them and inquire. Okay? Um, there's an ending these people are experiencing, right? You speaking your truth is causing some type of ending for these people. They would like you to shut the heck up. Do not. Keep going. Keep talking. Keep telling your truth. Because when these people were going out of their way to manipulate the whole world, the whole city, the whole court, even you, they didn't care about you. There could have even been like a hit put out on your life or something like that. So they didn't care about your well-being. Something is being reanalyzed. There are documents that are being looked over, right? There are documents that are being looked over. Signatures are being looked over and things like that. It's that someone sat down to either perfect your signature or someone copied your signature and reprinted it on documents to make it look authentic, but they are not. You didn't sign any documents. This is a violation of your privacy. Someone stole from you. This is forgery. This is illegal. Some of these people don't realize they're going to prison for decades. Someone in here is going to prison for 10 years, 15 years. I'm hearing 26 years. For someone, you're going to prison for five years. This, is, this was a collaborative uh, effort to steal from someone, to block some type of union from coming together. Okay? Someone in here is confident that they can come in and cause you some type of illusion. It could very well be this king of wands who's already married. So you don't even need to communicate with this person. 
someone in here wants to come in and paint a picture of oh i think you and i are the same i'm spiritually gifted as well you know i'm a star see i'm awakening and all of that they want to pretend to be like you so that you can form some type of bond with them just so they can cause you some type of ending don't do it do not do it when you get a hold of your inheritance do not get married to anyone do not get married to anyone until you have known them for a long time because someone in here wants to come in and cause you some type of illusion so you, they can marry you you can marry them and they can have access to your assets that's all it is this is someone that is a professional <laughs> a, a casanova this is someone that is into some type of illegal activities for some of you and as i said there's a pi in here that is aware of the truth or is being revealed to him someone is confident that they can come in and cause you an illusion they be maybe wanting to send you a message a dm an email a text message even give you a phone call to make it look like they want to invest in you they're not investing in you they're setting up a situation to benefit themselves we need to be mindful of the people that we are connecting to when people come in all of a sudden and they're all uh, over, over, over showering us with love all of a sudden and things like that cut it out cut it out someone in here is being taught how to approach you someone went to a priestess to get a reading on you to see how best to approach you someone is being uh mentored on your personality they they listen to you they watch you they've watched you for some of you in the past, they've been keeping an eye on you, seeing how you move and everything so they can be the perfect counterpart when they come to you. It's a setup. It's a setup for destruction. You don't need to be in a relationship with anyone. We need to all get to the point where we know and feel and realize that we don't need to be in relationship to feel fulfilled in life. Okay? Someone is he's trapped in this marriage. For some of you down the line, you are going to meet a masculine that is going through a healing process. It's leaving a divorce, putting an end to all of that, and ascending. And by the time he comes to you, he will be healed, but it is not anyone in this spread. Okay? Someone knows that they cannot fool you. For some of you, they are aware that they cannot fool you. So they know they need to come to you correct. We have the, the Page of Swords out here, the Queen of Wands, the Two of Wands, King of Wands, Page of Wands. That's a lot of wands out here. Someone has a lot of passion for you. Someone wants to work with you. Okay. But you need to be mindful of who you're connecting with. We have the Justice out here, the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, the Hierophant, the Seven of Cups. Someone thinks them bringing balance into a situation, them being fair, is them coming and offering you some type of poop, poop. Then hoping that it's going to lead into some type of twin flame connection. You two will be working together. You two will get married. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. Do not do it. Someone is being hunted by what they did because the truth has been revealed to them you can hear all about all the different characters that are showing up in here there's someone genuine there is someone uh, um manipulative conniving someone wants to come in and misguide you cause you an illusion someone here cannot sleep at night because of something they did they partook in okay there's a queen of pentacles in here that is extremely greedy this person is in balance. There's another queen of pentacles in here that wants to come in and give you some type of offer because they know the truth now. It's a lot of people involved in this situation. Be careful. Thread with caution. Thread lightly. Okay? Thread with caution. We have the seven of swords out here, the nine of cups, the empress, death and the knight of pentacles 
someone stole from you so they could live the good life. So they could pretend to be an empress. They are experiencing an ending. There is a change because of how they acquire this wealth. Okay, they have to give back what they stole, basically, is what this is. So keep your eye out. Talk to source. Spend time with source. Go within about this situation if you are resonating with this reading so that you can know how to move forward. Okay? Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next reading. Goodbye for now.